The Positector 200 ultrasonic coating thickness gauge from Defelsco Corporation non-destructively measures the thickness of coatings applied over non-metal substrates such as wood, concrete, and plastic. In this video, we discuss tips and techniques for measuring coatings with rough surfaces. Measuring coatings with rough surfaces can be a challenge for any measurement method, and ultrasonic testing is no exception. But the Positector 200 is well equipped to handle these situations. Rough or textured coating surfaces are often the result of the brushing, rolling, or spraying application method. Sometimes texturing is deliberately produced for reasons such as creating a non-skid surface, cooling structures by reflecting the sun's rays, protecting advanced fabrication materials, sealing and waterproofing rough substrates, or simply for aesthetic reasons. The Positector 200 is factory optimized to measure most coatings right out of the box. Simply turn it on and measure. In this example, repeated measurements are within a few microns of each other. The small variations in individual thickness results are due to substrate roughness. The effects of coating roughness are more dramatic, as illustrated here by a low result. Rough or textured surfaces cause the instrument to occasionally display low measurement values, typically under 50 microns, 2 mils, depending upon the amount of roughness. On lightly textured surfaces, using more ultrasonic gel will reduce the number of times low results appear. But on heavily textured surfaces, even sufficient gel won't prevent low values from occurring. The best way to prevent these occasional low values is with a simple change to an instrument setting called gates. First, let's explore why low measurement results occur in the first place. Microscopically, you can see the rough surface of this black coating on plywood. Under greater magnification, the surface texture on this red coating looks like hills and valleys. The dark lines in this photo are the scale markers from a destructive took or paint inspection gauge. Let's discuss what happens when the Positector 200 measures surfaces like these. When measuring ultrasonically, gel is applied to propagate ultrasound into the coating. When the Positector 200's probe is brought down, it rests on the peaks and attempts to measure the 111 micron thickness. In our example, the first measurement result was 34 microns. This is much lower than the expected paint thickness of over 100 microns. These low values result from the ultrasonic pulse reflecting off the surface of the coating rather than off the substrate. A simple adjustment to the Positector's measuring gates prevents these occasional low results. Gates define the instrument's measuring range, and the user can adjust them. Positector 200B models have default gate settings of 25 to 760 microns. Gate A is the minimum thickness the Positector 200 will report. Gate B, the maximum. The default gate B setting rarely needs to be changed. But a properly adjusted gate A value is the key to successfully measuring rough coatings. In our example, we want the instrument to ignore the 34 micron surface roughness, so we change the measuring range to something higher than 25, say 45. Now, within the new measuring range of 45 to 760 microns, the 34 micron result is ignored, and the next loudest echo is reported. By increasing gate A, we effectively tell the gauge to ignore the effects of surface roughness because the Positector 200 can only report thickness values within its measuring range, or gates. Let's go over that again. The first measurement result is lower than expected due to surface roughness, so we need to adjust gate A. Access the Positector's menu by pressing the middle button. Using the minus button, scroll down to Cal settings. Press the middle button to select, press it again to select Gates. The default measurement range is approximately 25 to 760 microns. Using the plus button, gate A is increased to 45 microns. Since the 31 micron measurement result is no longer within the gates or measuring range, the gauge immediately recalculates thickness using the next loudest echo. 
the thickness result immediately changes to the correct value of 111 microns. Measure again with the new gate A value. Repeated measurements confirm that the Positector 200 is no longer influenced by the surface texture. Here's how the process of changing gate A would look on a Positector 200B advanced model. The graphical display shows two peaks, but since the surface roughness generated the loudest echo, that value was reported. When gate A is raised beyond the roughness using the plus button, the Positector immediately reports the next loudest echo, the one that correctly represents the paint thickness at 111 microns. The second rough coating issue an inspector has to cope with is apparent lack of repeatability, something that every coating thickness gauge must deal with. Notice how a series of measurements are not always the same, close, but not perfectly repeatable. This occurs with any measurement technique. The degree of roughness can vary over a surface, and the instrument measures depth a little differently, depending upon if the probe is placed on the top of a roughness peak or lower, down in a valley. Here's another cross-section image showing subtle surface roughness. International organizations such as ISO, ASTM, and SSPC have a universal solution for this. Simply average a series of measurements. All Positector 200 models have the ability to do this easily. Access the menu by pressing the middle button. Press the middle button again to select Memory, and again to select New Batch. The display makes room for important statistical values, including the number of measurements at the bottom center of the LCD. Now, as measurements are taken, a running average is displayed at the top left, along with minimum and maximum values. The large, easy-to-read, backlit LCD provides valuable real-time information with each additional measurement. Outliers or bad readings caused by operator error can be deleted with the minus key. After eight measurements are taken, ranging from a high of 121 to a low of 112 microns, the average thickness is determined to be 116 microns. To recap, when measuring on rough surfaces, raise the value of gate A to not more than half the expected coating thickness, and use memory to average a series of measurements. These two simple steps will provide meaningful thickness measurement results on coatings with rough surfaces.